Hello everyone, this is Teacher Newton and here is another episode of Melhore Seu Inglês, Improve Your English Podcast! Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn how to use must and can't. So first, let's study this example. My house is very near the motorway. It must be very noisy. My house is very near the motorway. It must be very noisy. So, you can use must to say that you believe something is certain. For example, you've been traveling all day. You must be tired. Traveling is tiring, and you've been traveling all day, so you must be tired. Jim is a hard worker. Jim, you must be joking. He doesn't do anything. Carol must get very bored in her job. She does the same thing every day. I'm sure Sally gave me her phone number. I must have it somewhere. You can use can't to say that you believe something is not possible. You've just had lunch. You can't be hungry already. People are not normally hungry just after eating a meal. You've just eaten, so you can't be hungry. They haven't lived here for very long. They can't know many people. So let's study the structure. I must be tired. I must be hungry. I must be at work. You must be doing. You must be going. You must be joking. He must do. He must get. He must know. He must have. You can also use the same structure with can't. For example, I can't be tired. I can't be hungry. I can't be at work. You can't be doing. You can't be going. You can't be joking. He can't do. He can't get. He can't know. He can't have. For the best, we use must have done and can't have done. So let's see an example. There is nobody at home. They must have gone out. So in this case, Marty and Lucy are standing at the door of their friend's house. They have rung the doorbell twice, but nobody has answered. Lucy says, they must have gone out. So let's see other examples. I didn't hear the phone. I must have been asleep. I've lost one of my gloves. Oh, you must have dropped it somewhere. Sue hasn't contacted me. She can't have got my message. Tom walked into a wall. He can't have been looking where he was going. So let's see the structure of have been, must and can't with have been. I must have been asleep. I must have been at work. I, I must have been doing. I must have been looking. You must have gone. You must have got. You must have known. He can't have been asleep. He can't have been at work. He can't have been doing. He can't have been looking. He can't have gone. He can't have known. You can use couldn't, have, instead of can't have. For example, Sue couldn't have got my message. Tom couldn't have been looking where he was going. So, that's it for this week's episode. Must and can't. And this was the Melhore Seu Inglês podcast of this week. Follow us on Melhore Seu Inglês Instagram, Melhore Seu Inglês Facebook, and look for us on the internet on our site melhoreseuinglês.wordpress.com
www.ethicalenglishlessons.com and for private English lessons. Focus on conversation and at affordable prices, just contact us at WhatsApp 5531 9943 WhatsApp 5531 99143 7388 Keep studying English and see you on our next episode of Melhores Inglês Improve Your English Podcast